What's happening gamers? My name is Roll Easy. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Guys, this is going to be a speed run of all the solo money glitches that we have working right now because I do believe they will all be patched by tomorrow when the new Smuggler's Run DLC comes out. I want everybody to make the max amount of money today while they still can. So I'm going to go through them really quick. So before we get started, remember to like the video, hit that blue thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. Now, for both solo duplication glitches, I'm going to be showing here these are the requirements you need to be in an invite only session you need the moc with the personal vehicle storage in bay three you need the retro custom or a benny's vehicle to dupe inside of your moc with custom plates i suggest without i will put out a video for that a little bit later today make sure to stay tuned for that if you don't have custom plates you need a full garage with elegies to dupe over because one rh8 equals one dupe and for this exact duplication glitch this is the heist method so you do need a lester heist invite and maybe a cargo bob if your car does get bricked. The other solo duplication glitch, you're gonna need at least 195 grand in the bank to be able to renovate. All right, so shout out to the founders, Freight Train with the Fudge, Lost Glitches, Glitch Squad, and NHJ. Now, as you can see right here, I pulled out one of my RH8s from the garage and I pulled it up to the MOC, all right? Remember where you brought that RH8 from. Now, I'm gonna order another RH8 right over it, as you can see right there. Now, that car is gonna be brick now. As you can see, I can't go in it because I ordered exactly over that one that I pulled out of that garage. You have to remember the slot that you pulled the RH8 out of, okay? So, after I've ordered that, you're gonna go into your MOC. Now, you're gonna go inside of your retro, and once the door closes and you got the engine revved up, go ahead and open up your phone. Go ahead and start the, the Lester Heist invite. Press start, hold it, and then you're going to hit right trigger and A as you let go of the pause button. Okay, so once again, you're going to press start, hold it, right trigger and A, let go at the same time of the pause button. And make sure you only press right trigger about halfway. If you press it too much, you're going to lag out of the session. All right, it's a little tricky, but it works. There you go, that's the result you should get. You spawn back down by your MOC. Okay, so now as you can see, the car is a little bit away from me. So what I'm gonna do right now is press start. I'm gonna start up a job and I'm gonna go to play job, Rockstar created in missions, and I'm gonna start up a Titan of a job. Once I get to the settings, I'm just gonna simply back out and I'm gonna spawn right back down. So once again, to get glitched out, guys, you're gonna be holding the pause button while you're in the retro. Be ready to accept the heist invite. You're gonna press A and right trigger. Right trigger only halfway, really quickly, really soft also, and then let go of the pause button all at the same time, all right? And there you go, after I come back from the job, there's my retro, it is unbricked, and I can go ahead and test out to see if it's a dupe. There you go, the storage is full. You know it's a dupe because the original is still in your MOC in the personal vehicle storage. This is a complete brand new duplicate, all right? So all you're simply gonna do is drive this back over to the garage where you got the original RH8 from, where you duped over or where you delivered over the other RH8, and you're gonna simply go in there and swap it, okay? And once again, I will go over getting glitched out. It's very difficult. Not a lot of people can hit it. It's a timing thing, and you gotta be very quick with it. So holding the start button with your left thumb, right right index finger and right thumb will be pressing a and then right trigger okay so you press a and right trigger and let go of the pause button all at the same time but only right trigger slightly all right so as you can see right here it's going to ask me to replace over a car i'm going to replace over slot one which is where i pull the rh8 out of boom you have a saved duplicate simple as that now we're going to move on to the next dupe glitch that we got the next one is the moc renovation dupe glitch this one is the one that you need $195,000 every time to dupe. And guys, once again, I'm going really quick through these. I will have links to my other videos where I go over them very slowly at a better pace for people to understand. So if this is too quick for you, go down in the description or wait till the end of the video. And I will have the links to all of these duplication glitches and money glitches in a very, you know, well-mannered and thought out pace, you know, to learn a lot, uh, a lot better from, honestly. This is just a quick rundown so that everybody can realize what is still working all this video was recorded today about an hour ago everything is still working guys all right so we're gonna go ahead and pull out the rh8 from slot one right after i change my outfit here so i can look halfway decent now remember you want to remember the the rh8 that you're bringing out of the garage and what slot it's in because we're going to be ordering over that one and then replacing over it once we get the dupe so you're gonna go ahead, you can stay in the car or get out. I wanted to show you both ways. I'm getting out of the car. Now, as I'm getting out of the car, you're gonna go ahead and order up another Elegy over the one that you just got. Now, you're gonna see if you're out of the car, the car is actually gonna disappear once you order over it. 
So as you can see right here, replace over that one, exit the internet, cars disappeared. Go ahead and run inside your MOC. And similar to the other one, but you don't need the heist invite. Remember, we're gonna be renovating our MOC. This is where the 195K comes into play. Well, not yet at this moment. It comes uh, at the end of the glitch, if you wanna keep doing it. Now, so you get into your retro, open up the internet, and I said in my previous video to actually hold right trigger. You're actually gonna be holding left trigger. I feel like that's a lot easier, but not yet. Go ahead and go to bay three to renovate your MOC. Once you go to bay three, go ahead and hit on empty bay. Now hold the left trigger. Hold your left trigger reverse. Press buy, go to buy right here, and press A, then Y. A, then Y, okay? And you can spam Y after if you'd like, but A, Y, very quickly. And look at that. You see, I was holding left trigger. That's why I reversed right there. And boom, there you go. That is a duplicate. Once again, I had custom plates on here. If you don't have custom plates, I'll go over that in, uh, in the video that I'm coming out with next today. So now this is where the 195K comes into play. You can't return, uh, you can't do any more dupes unless you bring back your personal vehicle storage. So there you go, $195,000. You purchase the personal vehicle storage again. And right here, I'm gonna show you and test that this is a duplicate. You're gonna know because the original is still gonna be in the MOC. So if you try to put this in there, look what happens. Personal vehicle storage is full. Original is in the MOC, duplicate is outside right here, but it's not saved yet. So you gotta go garage full alert. This is why you need the garage, uh, the garages all to be full with LG so you can dupe over them. And now you're gonna simply, just like the last glitch, replace over slot one in this case. That's where I pulled out the LG. And boom, save dupe. Now, this is the last solo money glitch that we have working at the moment. This is the director mode glitch. Now, for the director mode glitch, you're gonna need two characters, Michael and story mode, three to four million dollars to get started just to buy all the apartments. And remember that you do lose all your outfits on your main character by doing this. So this is my second character, which is my female. Now, on my second character, I'm just gonna show you what I have purchased. Slots four, five, and six, you want to have the most expensive apartments, which are the three penthouse suites at uh, Eclipse Towers. So you can see right there, I have them purchased. This whole purchasing thing, you only have to do one time in the very beginning. After that, you can just keep redoing the glitch and it'll keep transferring over the apartments. You'll see what I'm talking about later. Now, I'm back over to my main character. You wanna do it in this order, by the way. You wanna go from female to male when you're buying them, and then male. Uh, you, your last character online has to be your, your main character, okay? So now I'm just going to show you what I have purchased here. The three cheapest apartments in slots four, five, and six. So the cheap apartments on your main character, four, five, and six. The expensive ones on your second character in slots four, five, and six. Has to be those slots. So now you're going to leave GTA online. And you must do it this way, guys. If you want to keep doing this over and over again, make sure your last character was your main character online. Okay, so now leave GTA Online, go back to story, hit load game, and load an autosave that you have or a last saved game. If you don't do that, it won't let you go into director mode. It'll just keep booting you back to the prologue. Now, we're back in story mode from our loaded game. You're going to simply go ahead and open up your interaction menu, and you're going to hit on director mode. All right, there you go. So we're now we're entering into the trailer for the director mode. Now, once again, that little menu is going to pop up. Hit enter director mode. We're gonna start heading over there. Once again, guys, if this is too quick for you, I will have all the links to the slower paced video so you can learn better, all right? This is just to show you guys what is working today. I want everybody to do these, all right? So, now we're gonna be spawning in director mode, as you can see on the top right. Open up your interaction menu, go to settings, and you're gonna go down to explosive bullets. Hit right on the D-pad to turn it on, and then hit X to activate it. Now, once you have explosive bullets on, back out of the menu, go to your assault rifle, now hold start right now, you're holding start. Press left trigger, and you're gonna hit right trigger and let go of pause. Now you saw that right there, you can see the fire coming out of the muzzle, okay? Go to online, that's what you wanna see. Go to online, choose character, and look at the animation. Once I choose character, boom. As you can see right there, the explosion happened and Michael was still standing up. That's exactly what you wanna see. That's how you know that you definitely did get glitched out. Now, once that happens, you will be going into the choose character menu, and in this choose character menu, you're gonna have the options to pick from your main or second character. Now, since our last character online was our main one, the one that we want the money on with the cheap apartments, we are gonna be selecting the female character or our second character over here. The second character has the expensive ones. Reason being, we're gonna merge and transfer those expensive apartments over to the main character so that we can make money off of them. All right, so now, as you can see right here, switch over to your second character. Go ahead and pick her or him, whichever one you guys have. And just make sure it's your second character. 
and now what's going to happen is it's going to start loading up. Now, right here, press BBB up two times and then A, and it's going to ask you to exit director mode. Once again, BBB up, up, A, okay? So now it's going to, once you accept that, you know, thing to exit director mode, I just sped forward through this. You're going to be joining GTA Online, and then you're going to lag out. So you can see right here, coming up. There you go, timed out of the uh, timed out loading session. That's what you want to see. Now it's going to kick you back into story mode. Once you're into story mode, you're going to simply go to online and then you're going to go to play GTA online and hit close friend session. Okay? Once you get into a close friend session, that is the, the you basically done the entire glitch already. That's it. We've transferred the apartments over. You're going to see right here we're booting back down and look, we're on our main character. All right, the main character's all glitched out now because of what we did with the female transferring over to the main, you know, second character to the main character. Now you're gonna simply go into Dynasty 8 and buy the cheap apartments over the expensive ones now. Look at slots four, five, and six. They have the cheap names with the expensive prices. Boom, 522 grand right there. Buy another cheap apartment, buy it over slot five. Boom, $466,000 I just got right there. Buy another cheap apartment, buy it over slot six. And there you go, 427 grand. So I just made about $1.5 million very, very quickly, guys. And that's it. Those are all three solo money glitches right now, guys. Guys, take advantage of this right now. Like I said, more videos are on the way today. I want everybody to make as much money for this DLC. It's going to be pretty expensive. But that's it for this video. My name is Roll Easy. I hope everybody has a great day. Remember, if you're new here or if you're old, <laughs> like the video, press that blue thumbs up. If you're new, press the subscribe button so that you can see more future videos like this and turn on post notifications for more of the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 content. All right, guys, peace out.